Scott leads global EHS strategy working with various business teams including manufacturing, sales and marketing, research and development and commercial operations. Prior to that, Mr. Gaddis was employed for over 18 years with Kimberly Clark Corporation, ending his career as the global safety leader. So if you would, welcome Mr. Gaddis. Thank you. I am going to, uh, to slide that on. Can everyone hear me? Yeah. So I'll just be real honest with you. I may be in New Jersey, but I'm not from New Jersey. So... Uh, so I uh, actually reside in Kentucky, believe it or not. So, so this would, would be about a 30-minute talk, but I talk slow. So, uh, so that's, that's all right. I mean, I, I'm going to come down, down, down here and, and talk from the floor. But if it's a problem, I'll, I'll just jump back up. Uh, that's, uh, that's easy enough for me to do. I usually like to, to work the room just a little bit and, and uh, maybe walk up and down the, the aisle here. Uh, I also have a degree in theology, so I was going to be a Baptist preacher for a pretty long time and still do quite a lot of that, actually, bivocationally. So, uh, so I do like to talk. I, I just hope that I have something to share that's worthy of your time, and, and that's what I want to, uh, to, to come from today. Th this is, is a particular subject that I really don't like to talk about. You know, um, it's soft, right? It's one of these soft subjects, and, and I'm sure you've sat through... A dozen of these type, right, of leadership trainings, and every one of them are different, right? So I, I, uh, I, I published a paper on this not very long ago, and I'm trying to, to come up with, well, what's the, what's the magic? And I counted well over, well, I stopped. After 45 different elements of leadership, I, I stopped, you know. So I know that there's hundreds of them, right, but uh, I was asked to, to, to bring you know, this, uh, this message to you, and uh, it, it really came on the heels of, of me being asked to, to talk with a, uh, with a group of young safety professionals just graduating college, and uh, they said, you know, can you tell us five things, right? Can you tell us five things we really need to know to be an effective safety leader? And, and so I, I went through, right, thinking about my own life. I've been doing this a long, long time, and, uh, you know, some of you are, are fairly young. I always thought I'd be young, I, I can tell you. And uh, I remember when I started, I was the out-of-the-box thinker, you know, and some of you were too. I can remember when we pinned, uh, you know, this idea of behavioral safety management, and everybody looked at us like we had lost our mind, right? So, so some of you have been exactly where, where I am, and, uh, and, and I know that, that, uh, that we'll have, you know, a good time here. I'm just going to go ahead and get started, and, and uh, I do like to talk and, and to have conversation with you, so there will be questions that I'll ask you to, to answer, if you would. Uh, you don't have to, but it certainly makes the, uh, the presentation so much better uh, if you do. Uh, I love this because I actually...